name's Luke. I'm a cryptographer at the Dusk Network, and I'm going to be talking to you about a special type of zero knowledge proofs called ZK snarks. As was alluded to in a previous video, a zero knowledge proof, just to reiterate its meaning, is a way of making a proof about a statement without revealing anything other than that statement. What we're going to talk about today is a certain area within zero knowledge proofs called ZK snarks. Just to go through this fun acronym, the ZK stands for zero knowledge. So without showing anything other than the knowledge itself, we're going to skip to the end with the arcs being arguments of knowledge. So these are, as, as described before, simply the mathematical proofs and statements that you make. But the S in the N is what's really interesting to us. S means succinct. Succinct means that the proofs are very small and they can be verified in constant time. And the N means they're non-interactive. So the environment where you have a prover and a verifier, and they make some statements and exchange some commitments, some information, we'll call it sort of the, the zero knowledge battleground. They don't need to exchange any information directly, but they do it through a shared transcript. So this can provide challenges and information to be able to help make these statements. The particular zero knowledge proving system we use at dusk is called PLONK, another fun acronym. PLONK stands for Permutations over Lagrange Basis of Ecumenical Non-Interactive Arguments of Knowledge. So again, we'll start at the end. The arguments of knowledge you know, these are these mathematical statements to say that you know something. The P stands for Permutation. And to explain how permutations work in this system, I'll explain a little bit how zero-knowledge circuits work. So, Within a computer system, we have many wires. And if you remember from high school science, these can be in series or in, in parallel. And through the fantastic art of software, we're able to control what goes down these wires. And when you think of binary, these wires are even on, either, either sorry, on or off. And in some insane and creative combinations, we can create computer programs simply by using these wires. So, if you imagine a zero knowledge circuit is a way of constructing the wires to do a certain amount of combinations of things you like, take the set together and then make interpolations or mathematical statements about these sets of wires. Say, ha, huh, I'm going to make a proof about it. To be able to ensure the correctness of these proofs, Planck uses something called permutations. So if you imagine you have one set of wires, they have a, a five, a six, and a seven going down it. And you, you copy those wires over here, so you have two. What you do is you make a permutation of those wires. So rather than a 5, a 6, and a 7, we have a 6, a 5, and a 7. No matter how we reorder those, the grand total will always be the same. So for part of the process in Planck, we can think of it as building our circuit, taking some part of it, and creating a permutation, and proving that as long as those hold equal, then a part of the proof can hold equal. The next thing to explain is the Lagrange basis. So to be able to relate it to our battlefield or zero knowledge battleground arena, we have different types of circuits, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13, 14, 15. So just some imaginary, some, imagine some numbers going down wires. To be able to find a common means of what's called interpolating all of these wires into polynomials, so if you can imagine it back to high school science, some kind of line of best fit that fits them all best, we can form them over a Lagrange basis. So we say, well, you all have in common some multiplicative subgroup, and then we're able to take a Lagrange base about this to be able to create an interpolation for a, a one scheme fits all across all the polynomials in the protocol. What this allows us to have is a proving system with some of the fastest proving times, constant verification, and small proof sizes. And honestly, the modularity, so the ability to take out the permutations and, and use them in other proof systems, or take out the principles of Lagrange bases and use them in other proving system, is what's really driving forwards a lot of the zero knowledge technology that we're seeing emerging right this very instant. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the video and look forward to the next one.